The next property is dew point temperature. The symbol used to represent dew point temperature is TDP. Dew point temperature can be defined as the temperature at which condensation begins when the air is cooled at constant pressure. TDP is equal to saturation temperature at the pressure of water vapor. Again, this is representing pressure of the water vapor, TV. Let's have a look at this TS diagram. This curve representing constant pressure. The vapor in the air at state 1 will undergo a constant pressure cooling process until it reach to the saturated vapor line at state 2 and condensation will begin if the cooling process is further occur. Since we know that the region under the dome shape is representing the mixture phase where part of the phase is in liquid and part of it is in vapor. Now we have two situations where the first one Andy and Wendy both wear glasses. On a cool winter day, Andy comes from the cool outside and enters the warm house, while Wendy leaves the house and goes outside. Whose glasses are more likely to be fog? Can you explain? The second situation is, after a long walk in the 12 degrees Celsius outdoor, a person wearing glasses enters the room at 25 degrees Celsius and 55% relative humidity. Determine whether the glass will become fog or not. In order to solve this, we need to determine the dew point temperature for the room. Given in this example is the room temperature 25 degrees Celsius and also the relative humidity 55%. The formula to find the relative humidity is given by V is equal to PV divided with PG. PV is the partial pressure for the water vapor, while the value for PG is equal to saturation pressure at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. From table A4, at 25 degrees Celsius, the saturation pressure is 3.1698 kilopascal. Therefore, we can determine the value for PV, which is equal to 1.7 for 34 kilopascal. And we know that the dew point temperature is equal to the saturation temperature at the partial pressure of the water vapor. From table A5, the value for PV equal to 1.7434 kilopascal is in between 1.5 kilopascal and 2 kilopascal. So the saturation temperature value will be also in between 13.02 and 17.5. To get the exact value, yes, we need to do the interpolation, but still, the value that we obtain will be larger than 12 degrees Celsius. But assuming after a long walk, the glasses is having the same temperature with the outdoors temperature, which is 12 degrees Celsius. Since the temperature of the glasses is lower than the dew point temperature, of the room, therefore, the glasses will become fog since the temperature of the glass is lower than the dew point temperature of the room. Now, if you look back at the definition of dew point temperature, which is the saturation temperature at the partial pressure of the water vapor, which is representing the atmospheric air condition. 
it means that something colder than our dew point temperature will create further cooling process to the atmospheric air surrounding the cold thing. That is why we always observe liquid water droplets formed on the surface of a cold drinks. Okay. Why this is happening? It is because the temperature of that cool drinks is lower than the dew point temperature for the atmospheric air. Now, whose glasses are more likely to be fogged? Andy or Wendy? <laughs>